I'm Lee and I'm the owner at Cotswold Porsche Specialists. So thanks to Design 911 for coming down and doing a bit of a feature on me. We work closely with Design 911. All of our OEM parts come from them. Uh, once I met Tony, uh, he's kind of looked after us ever since. I started the business uh, 11 years ago. Different to other people who perhaps come into this having been a technician or working at Porsche. Uh, with me, I was a design engineer and I've got a, an obsession with Porsches. I've got too many on the driveway and my wife just said, you need to get rid of all these cars. And so I took on a unit and then saw a great video about uh, Los Angeles Porsche dismantlers and then started to strip cars in my spare time uh, with the help of a technician. You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? So yeah, with the help of a technician, uh, we started stripping cars. And from that point forward, uh, we turned into a workshop within about 12 months. And for the last eight or nine years, all we've really done is service and repairs. Uh, and for the last four or five years, been selling cars. And that's where you see me now, in the car sales area. So yeah, 10 years ago, we took on a unit really to hide cars from my wife. Uh, I was a massive Porsche enthusiast. I also thought I could do things better than the established dealers and specialists in my area. And that's how it all started. Uh, and from there on, I had a technician uh, who was brilliant, just lucky enough to find somebody that was probably the best technician I've ever met. Uh, then his mate came along who was a Porsche nut. And we're all Porsche enthusiasts. You know, the, the three guys in the workshop love their Porsches. I love them. And hopefully that's what makes us just probably, not different to others, but hopefully similar to others. We, we just love the cars, whether it's a transaxle car, whether it's a Boxster, whether it's a 911 GT3 that was in this morning. We love every car that Porsche has. And we, we try and let that enthusiasm rub off on our customers and hopefully, and, and their friends and hopefully new customers. Yeah, so we're in the workshop now, I thought I'd show you around. We've got three ramps, uh, three technicians. Uh, two guys have been here with me for, well, between the two of them, about 12 years. Uh, Stefan's the new guy. So the cars we've got in today, we've got a KN in just for its six year service. Uh, we've got a regular customer in over here. So uh, Design 911 would have helped us with this car. It's had suspension, it's had exhaust but the owner's just a bit unlucky at the moment and his water pump's failed. So, got it in pretty quickly. Uh, we'll replace it this afternoon and get it out first thing tomorrow. Rich behind me tends to do most of the older cars. So, uh, the car on that ramp's quite an interesting car. Uh, the guy uh, has just bought it, but he owned it 10 years ago. Uh, we're going through a few different packages of work for him. Uh, on this occasion, it'll just be rear brakes and a few bits and pieces elsewhere on the car. But normally, a busy workshop, uh, five days a week, no Saturdays, just doing work we like. So. <laughs> and a dog. <laughs> yeah. uh, so the guys at Design have asked why there's so many cars outside. If you're a poor specialist, it's just, that's what it's like. But I just said I'd talk through a few that are outside. So we've got cars that are here just for short term, like this one that's having a fuel pump. We've seen lots of problems with fuel pumps on these cars, especially this time of year for some reason. Then we've got cars that have been here for six months, like the one in the corner. So that's had fuel lines, brakes, MOT, other little bits and pieces. Uh, just hard cars to fix and the customer's in no rush for it back. Um, then we've got cars that are kind of project cars that come in and out. So we've got a 944 Turbo, which is a, a left-hand drive car. So the guy's had it for like 20 years. Uh, didn't use it for the last 10 years and now it's all just all gone bad so uh, we've put a new uh, head gasket on it, new belts, uh, the fuel's all gone bad, we're giving it a good service. So there's a mix of cars really, you know, some cars that have been here less than 24 hours and some that have been here for six months. That's just the way a poor specialist seems to work. So in this line of work experience is pretty important and the guys here I've got working with me, uh, both in the late 30s, both worked on Porsches for a long time now. Uh, Stefan's new to the group, so he's just starting to learn the ropes. But Rich especially, you know, working on the older cars, takes a lot of patience, a lot of experience, 
uh, and even in Richard's own time, he'll be working on his own cars. He's got a 914, previously had a 356, um, currently also got a split screen bus. So I guess for Rich, working on Porsche is in his blood. The Silver 996 is a regular customer of ours. Uh, he'll have had a Dansk Sport Sound exhaust, which we'll have got from design. Uh, the suspension is uh, a Bilstein uh, lowered suspension kit that we fitted for him and a wheel alignment. We've got wheel alignment facilities next door, a camera based setup that we've been using for a few years. Obviously really important when you're doing suspension work on these cars, whether it's a suspension arm or a full suspension drop like that is. So this is the perfect segue into how design helps us. So this is our kind of stores area. And you know, we've got pollen filters, air filters, brake discs, pads, coil packs, water pumps. And I'd say probably 90% is from design. Uh, we get things next day, we get carriage free. It's just a good working relationship. Uh, most of the time, we don't get caught out. Uh, most of the time, if we get a surprise repair, we've got the stuff in stock. And if we haven't, it'll be here the next day. So, yeah, we're really grateful for design. Uh, and so finally, just, you know, a huge, huge thanks to Design 911 because, you know, we couldn't have grown to where we are now without their support. Hopefully they'll help us grow more. We're hoping to move premises somewhere bigger, more technicians, and we just need a partner like Design to help us along. So, yeah, thanks to those guys for coming down to see us. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you'll see what we do on a daily basis on there. So, yeah, thanks.